Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you my glass bed upgrade for my Ender 3 Pro. So I'm really, I was really happy with, with this upgrade and uh, right here you can see what's in the, in the box. It comes with these clips which I was actually kind of surprised about. I thought this was just a, like a dirty hack that people used but apparently they come right in the box with uh, the glass plate. I was a little surprised by that, but they, they work fine, and uh, I guess it's okay. I'm still very happy with this. It, it came out pretty well. So, uh, yeah, this is it. It comes with this glass plate and those clips. So, make sure to check the link in the description if you want to know where you can pick up this bed. Also, if you want to know where you can pick up this, uh, this printer, check the link in the description for that also. Now, if you look over here, here's my Ender 3 Pro with the uh, the magnetic bed. Now you can see there are some marks on there from previous builds I've done. You can peel this thing right off. It was pretty convenient. Um, I did like the magnetic bed, but it's just not as flat, and I feel like the builds just aren't going to come out as well. Um, it's going to be give me a higher chance of uh, having better, more successful builds, um, and it just feels a whole lot nicer. As nice as the magnetic bed is. Also, um, some people peel this, uh, the, there, there's this other layer here. You see what I'm pointing to there? Some people peel that off before attaching this glass bed. Now, if you don't peel that off, that layer beneath is actually going to fuse to the glass bed after a few times. If, if you don't take the glass bed out, off after each, uh, each print. Now, I actually have no problem with that. And from what I've read, from what people say, um, not removing that layer. I mean, it is a huge pain to remove that layer and apparently you have to clean it with alcohol, I think, but it's a, it's a huge pain. And um, apparently leaving that layer on there actually um, allows heat to be spread out even, even uh, it, it allows the heat to be spread out more effectively. And um, it, it's still able to reach the correct temperature. So there's no issue there at all. There's no issue leaving it on. And um, personally, I don't, I don't see an issue with it fusing to the glass bed. Um, and I haven't tried taking the clips off of mine yet. Um, here I am just, you know, making sure it's uh, aligned properly and everything. But yeah, I, I chose to leave that on. Originally, I was planning to peel that off because I wanted to make sure I did everything the right way. But um, after reading through a lot of things other people have posted and what people have recommended, I opted to just leave it on, which I was happy to do because it is easier just leaving that layer on. So after you pull the magnetic bed off, don't peel that other layer under the magnetic bed off. At least I'm not doing that. So here we go. Align the, the bed um, as nicely as I can and I'm adding the clips. Now you're going to want to try to avoid getting fingerprints on it and stuff. I don't think it's that crazy big of a deal, but generally you don't want to um, get fingerprints on it or, or get it dirty or whatever else, I guess. Here we go, clips on the back. And here we see, uh, we actually, we want to align the head here. So we, we're, we're gonna want to, um, you know, ma make sure the extruder comes in and the, the, the Z stop here. So um, the Z stop is going to, we're, we're gonna need to adjust that. So what, we're, what I'm doing over here, I, I really should have moved the camera so you could see what's uh, going on on the screen there. But uh, essentially what I'm doing is aligning, um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna align this right here so that it is just touching the, the plate. Because um, obviously the plate has a different thickness than the magnetic plate. So you need to make sure this goes down just to the point where it's barely touching it. And um, yeah, this is not right. So I, I played around with this a little bit. And um, yeah, anyways, what I'm going to try to do is get it so it's just barely touching it and you can slide a piece of paper under and there's a little bit of drag. That's the right point where you want it. And then you're going to... Yeah, 
And here you can see I'm sliding a piece of paper underneath. And you can see it slides under, but there's a little bit of drag. And that's exactly what we want. Next step is going to be the z-axis. So we're going to loosen this up. So make sure to check the link in the description if you want to know where you can pick up this bed. Also if you want to know where you can pick up this, uh, this printer, check the link in the description for that also. And we want to get it right to the point where you hear it click. Right as it clicks, you, you know you've got it to the right depth. Then we're going to tighten it back up. And we dropped it there. So we're going to try that again. And right there, that's right about there. So make sure to check the link in the description if you want to know where you can pick up this bed. Also if you want to know where you can pick up this uh, this printer, check the link in the description for that also. And I'll probably have links over to Amazon, maybe some other places, but uh, yeah, if you want to get this glass bed, if you want to get the Ender, Pro, Ender 3 Pro, um, check the links down in the description. Go ahead and hit that like button. Also hit the subscribe button. You're not gonna wanna miss out on our other great videos. We have a lot of great stuff we put out already and we have a lot of stuff coming up soon. So uh, definitely hit the subscribe button and also hit the little bell icon. Otherwise YouTube's not gonna alert you when we come out with a new video and you're not gonna wanna miss these. We put a lot of other great content out. We, this includes hardware, software, networking, servers, coding, electronics single board computers, 3D printing, robots, and a ton more. Also, leave a comment down below, not just for me, but for the next person who watches this video. If you know something that I don't know, or you have any comments, questions, criticism, whatever you wanna say, 
just leave the comment down below. Uh, hopefully you found this video useful or at least interesting. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.